Welcome to Oak Mountain Media. My name is Chase Collins, and today I have the honor of interviewing the head football coach of Oak Mountain, the winningest coach percentage-wise in Oak Mountain history, head coach Tyler Crane. Thank you for coming Thank, here. Absolutely. Coach. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you had a great win on Friday, but I want to take it back to uh, when you first started coaching, mm -hmm. or when you started playing, there was Coach Smith at Cedar Bluff, and mm -hmm. then your first coaching job was at Sandbrock. Mm -hmm. Coach Shackaway, how have those guys helped shape you into um, the majority today? I mean, Coach Smith, I, I talk to him like every day. Like He's uh, one of the best high school coaches to ever do it, so I try to get as much information from him as I can. And same thing with Coach Jakeaway, he's Hall of Fame coach, and Coach yeah. Smith will be one day too. So, you know, <clears throat> just trying to take as much from those guys as I can and implement it into my own kind of, you know, ideas and system here. Yeah. How, what kind of a person have they made you? Have they impacted your values and how you carry your team? Uh, absolutely. There's, there's things that I do with the team now that I got from those guys, you know, like just how I want them to carry themselves, how, you know, making sure that they understand that, you know, when they wear Oak Mountain, they represent not just the school but the community and the families and that kind of thing. So it's not just a, you know, during school kind of thing. So, yeah, a, a lot of things that, you know, I got from them as a player, I definitely carry over to my team now. Yeah. And so you've been a defensive coach basically mm -hmm. your whole career. You were defensive coordinator, linebacker coach, mm -hmm. all defense. But now not only are you coaching the offense too, you're a head coach. Right. You've been an assistant coach before. What adjustments have you had to make uh, with that? Well, when I was here the first time, uh, I coached offense line and receivers. Yeah. So that kind of gave me a little bit of a background. And then I played offense and stuff some in high school. and um, So I enjoyed that side of the ball too. But, you know, I feel more comfortable on the defensive side. This is where I've kind of always been. So um, I have learned in my short time as a head coach that it's more of making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing instead of you actually coaching the spot. So uh, – it's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's I know Friday night it was hard for me not to just like try to take over, start coaching positions and stuff. Yeah. But um, you know I've learned that you got to delegate and you know trust people and know that they're going to do the right you know the right job at the moment. Yeah, and like staying with that, your team, you're the coach of the whole team. How have y'all grown <clears throat> over this whole season, starting from camp till now? Um, I think the biggest thing is just trust. Um, you know, when you're new and you don't know everybody, it's really just building those relationships and building trust with, you know, the players and getting them to buy into what you're trying to build. Um, you know, we had to do that at Central Phoenix this past year. You know, we were we were new there too. And, you know, just building those relationships with the kids and getting them to understand that we have their best interest in heart. And once they kind of know that, you know, everything kind of took off from there. Yeah, and so the team and then the staff too. Absolutely. You, the staff and the team outside, how have the staff been? Uh, yeah, they've been fine. They've been really good. You know, we brought in a lot of new guys. Uh, a couple guys are still here that were here from the last staff, but uh, they're really good guys and they've worked really hard. Uh, but I wanted to bring some new faces in, you know, some fresh blood to kind of people that think the way that I do when it comes to building a program and, you know, trying to get guys in here that I can trust. To, I give them a job and let them go do it, and I don't have to look over their shoulders. So that's that's really important to me because I don't – I mean, if I have to do their job, why well, hire them? Yeah. So, you know, we, wanna, we want guys to take ownership in what they're doing and work really hard and also be good in the classroom. Yeah, and in the Chelsea game, it looked like y'all all molded together. It looked like mm -hmm. family out yeah. there. Absolutely. So, yeah, there's the staff, the team. That's on the football field, but then you got to have people coming to the games and then mm – -hmm. You working at the school here, the faculty, the community, how have they just oh, come together great. to support the team? They've been great. I mean, you know, the administration, uh, Dr. Sayers, Mr. Elks, Ms., uh, you know, Ms. Evers, Ms. Belizos. I mean, everybody's been fantastic uh, from the administration down to, you know, the bookkeepers. I mean, everybody has done a fantastic job of welcoming, welcoming me and my wife and stuff like that to the community and you know, just understanding with the idea of what we're trying to build. You know, we don't want it to just be a, a good season here and there. We want, you know, we want to win championships. We want to play for championships yeah. each year. That's our plan. So uh, that's what we're trying to build and, you know, getting people on board with that and 
losing the mindset of, well, we've always done this or we've always been this. No, it's, it's, it's a new beginning at Oak Mountain. So that's what we're trying to do. I like that C word, championship. Yeah, championship. one of my favorite. <clears throat> All right, so now the Chelsea game, it was uh, it was 13 to 13 at halftime. And that's something that just we didn't really expect. So at halftime, what adjustments were you making to um, put us on top? I don't even really think it was adjustments. I think it was just not shooting herself in the foot. Uh, we had a couple mistakes. We, you know, personal fouls and a fumbled kickoff. And, you know, we kind of sputtered a little bit offensively. And then, you know, we went in halftime. We just said, hey, we know what to do. Just do it. You know, quit getting in your own way. And once we done that, I mean, you know, we took off. So uh, I was really proud of how they responded and, you know, took the game over like we should have done at the very beginning, but I'm glad it happened that way because if you just if you beat somebody bad to begin with, there's no teaching moment. So with that first half, there were a lot of good teaching moments that we can uh, push toward this week going into Pelham. Yeah, and so the Pelham game, that's up next. What are your thoughts <clears throat> for that game? What game plan going to be? They're really good. Uh, they have some really good athletes. They have uh, a really good quarterback and some good, you know, players on the outside and stuff, and their defense is pretty solid. So we've got to make sure that we do our job preparing um, the best that we can, make sure that we come out each day and really work to get better and not take a step back. But I think if we do what we're supposed to and we work hard and we go out and execute on Friday nights, we'll be fine. Each game, we just... Yep, just got to keep getting better. One and oh. Every game, don't even worry about the record. Just go one and oh. I like that. That's all I got for you today. Oh, thank you. Come by. Appreciate it. Uh, make sure to check out the football Instagram, football OMHS, and check out our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Oak MTN Media. And for Oak Mountain Media, my name is Chase Collins. Thank you for watching.